a mini kit for everyday emergencies. Hey guys, it's Jara with Wicked Prepared. Welcome to our channel, everyone. As always, thank you for stopping by. We are always glad to see you. If it's your first time here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Today I'm going to show you my mini first aid kit. Now this is my personal kit. This is like my EDC first aid kit. We have larger kits in our home, in our vehicles, and so on and so forth. But this little kit is always on my person. We talk a lot about preparing for the big things, but it's just as important to be prepared for all the smaller, more minor, everyday things that we run into. So for me, it's important to have a kit that's just the right size so that I always have it on me. I found this little first aid bag on Amazon. It's just the empty bag and I actually like that as well. Sometimes it's handy to start out with a pre-made kit, but honestly, I feel like I really need to fill things out myself and make sure that it really is gonna work for me, I'm going to have everything that I really need for myself and for my family. I love this bag because first of all, it's super cute but also it's just the perfect size and setup for what I wanted. It fits perfectly in my purse. This is the typical size purse that I usually carry, either this or something a little bit uh, larger, not, nothing smaller. So this bag fits down in here perfectly and it does snap up. There's my first aid kit, my bathroom bag. In here I've got my little EDC bag and a couple of other things and it just works perfectly. But by the same token, I can also switch it out into a different bag if we're going somewhere that I'm not bringing my purse. For example, just the other weekend, I took my daughter's Girl Scout troops, accompanied them to Six Flags. And so I didn't bring my purse, but I, I traveled light and I used this old waist pack that I had. We're gonna call it a waist pack because that's a little less dorky than fanny pack. That's why I was able to fit that little mini first aid kit right into this waist pack. Or if we're going on a hike and I wouldn't be bringing my purse, I can take that out and put it into my hiking pack. Now this case also came in gray. So I did get one of the gray thinking I might fill it up for my son or Mr. Wicked Prepared, but I ended up doing something different for them. So this one is still just hanging out, but I'm sure I'll get it filled up eventually for someone. Now my bag is a little worse for the wear. It's a little beat up. It's not looking as snazzy as it once did because I've been using this for quite a while now. And I mean, I use it. It's with me everywhere I go. It does, it does get quite a bit of use. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so it just zips open. And then inside you can see it's got this pocket over here and this part back here and then this little middle pouch here. And I guess we'll start over on this side. Now this little pill organizer, this is from Dollar Tree. Now this is an idea that I got from Lorna Marie, another channel on YouTube. She has some really great organizing ideas. So this was only a dollar. And then I just used my label maker to label all the different sections of what I have inside. Now this is what works for me. This is what my family uses the most. So that's how I chose what I was gonna put in here. But if you were to do something similar, you would just use the medications that you typically use. So I've got ibuprofen, um, acetaminophen, Benadryl, I've got, this is low dose aspirin. I'm gonna be changing this out to regular aspirin and I'll just cut off that part of the words. And then I've got children's ibuprofen, children's Benadryl, Imodium, and then these are water purification tablets. And if there's anything where you don't know the dosage off the top of your head, you can just put it on the side or the bottom. Now these water purification tablets, they work with iodine. You can tell they've kind of stained the, the container that they're in yellow, but these were all clear to begin with. So that goes in here and I just refill this whenever something needs refilled. And then also down here I have, uh, this is just triple antibiotic, just like Neosporin. And this is a Neo to go, which is, um, it's actually like a liquid spray. So it's not really like Neosporin. I don't think I use this for cleaning wounds because it's a liquid. So this is a really handy small size and it's very light to take with you. So I use this for wound cleaning and then this is for treating. Now I prefer to have the tube like this. This is actually from Dollar Tree and now Walmart actually has um, a brand that's even cheaper, 88 cents last time I bought it. I like that this tube has a very narrow tip so you can actually apply just the amount that you need right where you need it, right onto the bandage or right onto the wound if you want to do that. Um, 
Now they do have little individual packets of the antibiotic ointment that you can get. I do have some of these. I use them in certain places, but I much prefer to use this because with these little packets, I find that I never use up the whole packet. So what happens is I open it, I use a little bit, and then I don't want to throw the rest away because I find that's going to be wasteful. So I'm usually trying to stick it around somewhere if I'm at home or in my car, find a spot to set it so that I might use it later, and it just ends up making a mess. So I really prefer to use this. This is very small. And I also like the small, the smallest container that you can get because the small ones are the ones that have this little pointy tip, which allows you to put it where you want. And then over here on this side, this is just a little container of um, children's Dramamine. Now this is not always in here. Like I said, I just took a trip with some Girl Scouts to a theme park. So I thought this would be a good thing to have. My kids don't need this so much, so it's not always in here. I might keep this in my um, my car first aid kit, but it's a really thin little travel sized packet. So I thought this would be a good thing to have on a long car ride to an amusement park with crazy rides with a bunch of kids. And then I've just got a couple of these chloroseptic uh, sore throat um, lozenges. These actually work really good for cough drops also if I have like a nagging cough that just won't quit and I'm done being sick so I want to go out in public but I don't want to be coughing you know because you know that makes people look at you kind of funny in this day and age so I use these a lot and then of course a packet of um, hydration multiplier this is a liquid IV this is just something you would add to water to um, hydrate someone better now these little packets I do like this is anti-itch cream. You tend to use more of an anti-itch cream or you could, you could just rub it into the whole area. And I don't want to have a whole tube of anti-itch cream because it's not something that we use often. So this is something that I do use the packets. I also have some sunscreen packets. These are pretty handy just for emergencies. Like if you, somebody needs a reapplication or just forgot to grab sunscreen, just want to cover up their nose or something like that. These little packets are great to have on hand. And then most of what I have left in here is just a bunch of different bandages of different sizes, things that I use for little wounds. We've got small band-aids. We've got a little bit larger band-aids here. These are gauze pads. Now I tend to use these gauze pads in conjunction with this spray when I'm cleaning a wound. Um, these are sterile gauze because they're all sealed up. So I just spray with this and then I wipe or blot with these wipes. I mean these, these gauze pads, not wipes. I do have a few of these alcohol prep pads which could be used for wound cleansing but let's face it that really hurts. Um, I do have a couple of these in here but I'll probably leave them out. I don't think I even realized that they were in here. I prefer to use the tube but I guess these could be handy if um, you run into somebody who needs some. You can just give them a packet and they can be on their way. This is one little packet of an A&D ointment which this is really great for skin irritation. I used to use this on my baby's diaper rash, but it's also good for chafing, any kind of skin irritation, um, chapped lips, chapped faces. It's really great, so I like to have a little bit of this on hand. This is a special um, type of Band-Aid that's for blisters, and it doesn't have instructions. It had different instructions than a typical Band-Aid, and they weren't on each individual package. So any of my first aid kits where I took these out of the box, I just wrote the instructions in a really simple way in a Sharpie on the package. Some more uh, band-aids and then these are, we do tend to use these fingertip and um, knuckle bandages so I have a couple of those and then bigger bandages. You never know when you get a really big skinned knee or some sort of larger boo-boo that needs attention. And then this is just mole skin because blisters are horrible and this is really good to have just in case your shoe is rubbing or something and somebody's getting a blister. And then inside this middle package, there's a bunch of different things. I do have a little pack of Q-tips that could be used for any number of things. These, I believe, were in a first aid kit from Dollar Tree. They were already in this little baggie, so I just threw them in here. Got a couple of um, other types of cough drops besides the ones I showed you. Have a pack of Tums because you never know when somebody might have heartburn, upset stomach, something like that. Now this is, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this because we always just laugh at ourselves when we try to pronounce this, but this is a homeopathic, um, it's, this is a very teeny little vial. It's a homeopathic medication that's supposed to help with um, cold and flu and things like that. If you feel it coming on, if you take this really quickly, it can um, help knock that out or help make your symptoms um, last a lot less. And we do find that this seems to work for us, but it really works best if you take it immediately, as soon as you feel like you're getting sick. And that's why I wanted to have one of these with me 
at all times just in case you are not home when you feel like you're getting sick. A couple of salt packets. I just like to keep salt on hand, um, mostly for leeches. If you take your kids swimming in lakes and ponds, you might run into leeches and this will get the leeches off. Uh, this could also be used for someone who was dehydrated and needed some uh, salts, but I think that the liquid IV would be better for that. More cough drops. This is a single use eye drops. This is a very teeny little thing. This is from Dollar Tree actually. I got a pack of single use eye drops and it was maybe six of them in the pack and I just broke one off and put it in here. This would be good for anybody who has um, dry or irritated eyes, but this also could probably help if someone got something in their eye. And then this is a little sting. Um, I don't remember the name of this, but I'll show you the package. I'll put a picture up on the screen. This is for like bee stings and stuff like this. A little handy little thing to have if somebody gets stung by a bee. And then just a few handy tools to have on hand. A little pair of tweezers. These might have come from Dollar Tree or they might not have. I have a lot of little tweezers. Um, but it's really handy to have if there's a splinter or anything like that. A set of nail clippers. You never know when you need nail clippers for something. And then these scissors, I love these. These come in a multi-pack and I have bought several sets of them because I find myself sticking them everywhere. They're in my car, they're in my purse, they're in every first aid kit that I possibly have. You just pull them apart and they make scissors. And these are pretty sharp. I like these. I got some metal ones that I thought they were all metal. They didn't have the plastic handles and they didn't work as well. These work pretty well. Then you just do this and push them together and you've got a little set of scissors. So these can be handy for all kinds of things. You might need to cut the mole skin. Um, we've used them for all sorts of things. Even if they're not first aid related, I know that I always have them with me in my first aid kit. There we go. This has just been refilled with everything because it was used a lot um, recently. So this is about as full as it ever gets. But the good thing about a kit like this is that you can customize this to your needs, but also you can customize that to what's going on, you know, in your life currently. For example, the drama mean that I had for a trip that we took may not always be in there. I might add and subtract things, change things up depending on what we're doing, where we're going and what's been going on with us. Okay guys, so now you've seen my little mini first aid kit that I take with me everywhere. I had really big plans today. I was gonna show you some of my other mini small first aid kits that we have around. I've got this uh, tubular kit I was gonna show you and I was gonna show you this one that we take hiking. This is our hiking first aid kit. But I decided that sometimes I can be long winded and that would probably make for a really long video. So I thought I would keep this one brief and I will show you those another day. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video with anyone you know who might enjoy it. If you made it all the way to the end, leave me one of these red cross emojis down in the comments. I'm Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.